Good morning, everybody. This is Valerie. I'm very glad to start the day with you. You know, this last weekend in church, Renee asked us to consider two questions. Who is my king and what is my kingdom? Now, if you're like me, I think, well, I know the answer to those questions. I mean, obviously, Jesus is my king. But do I always live like that? You know, as part of the story that we studied this weekend, we looked when Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, our dear Peter, the disciple Peter, stepped in to defend Jesus and he pulled out his sword and he swiped off the ear of the high priest's servant. I love Peter. I get Peter. I want to do the same thing sometimes when I see things going out of control. I just want to go lopping off ears. But Jesus' response to Peter, and I'm going to the book of John for this, is he looked at Peter and he said, put your sword away. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? Peter was defending his friend, but Jesus said, no, there's a bigger plan here, Peter. Shall I not drink the cup that my Father has given me? And you know, when Jesus is king, when we believe that in our hearts and we say, who is my king? It's Jesus. We can put our swords away. Because if you're like me, that sword comes out when things start going out of control. When I see somebody's life not going like it should, I'm like, oh, I got to start cutting off ears and helping Jesus out here. I got to make this better. And Jesus says, no, there's a plan, Val. I am king and there's a plan. And so I encourage you today, think about a situation that feels out of control for you right now. It might be a situation in your own life. It might be a situation in a child's life, in a friend's life, in your work life, in your health. I don't know, but think about that situation and then ask that question, who is my king in this situation? Who is my king? Who is king of this situation? And as you go through the day and that situation pops up or something comes up with that, and you're tempted to take out that sword and start lobbing off ears and controlling things, think, no, wait, who is my king in this situation? And take that moment and just surrender it and say, Lord, you're king. I'm going to step back and I'm going to wait to see what you do. Because while it was painful and awful, the path that Jesus had to take and go through the cross and the awful death on the cross, ultimately, that death purchased my salvation, purchased your salvation. And if Peter had just kept lopping off ears and trying to cut into that, we wouldn't be having this conversation this morning because Jesus knew there was a bigger plan. He knew. He knew who was king. So whatever that situation is that you're facing today, I encourage you to take a few moments, even now this morning, to just say, Jesus, in this situation, you are king. And Jesus, I'm going to put away my sword, whether it's a sword of control, sword of anger, a sword of manipulating, a sword of anxiety, whatever that sword is today, I'm going to put away my sword, Jesus, and I'm going to declare you are king. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you this weekend as we celebrate Easter.